in September to November last year, Interpol supported an operation in Latin America across South America and Central America involving 12 countries. It targeted illegal logging across that region. Uh, as a result of that operation, further intelligence was discovered and further in investigations and activities are undertaken. We now are pleased to announce further uh, seizures of timber, further uh, activities by law enforcement activities concentrated in Costa Rica and Venezuela. Both of those two countries, led by their law enforcement officers, have conducted a large law enforcement operation, resulting in almost 300,000 cubic metres of timber being seized, illegal timber that's been taken off the market. That's almost 20,000 truckloads of timber and valued at close to 40 million US dollars. Every second, an area of forest the size of a football field is cleared. And this is having serious consequences for climate change, for loss of biodiversity, for the extinction of species, and causing social conflict and unrest with a lot of local communities that rely on the forests for their livelihoods, for their food, their medicine, their shelter. Project LEAF is aimed at helping governments get their forest sector under control and to manage that, those forests. Illegal logging is the front line in that effort. We cannot manage our forests, we cannot deal with the, the, the clearing of forest lands unless we bring in place laws that can be regulated and managed and enforced and we have a strong law enforcement community and understanding that can support the management of those forests. Project LEAF is a consortium partnership with the UN Environment Program with its Grid Arendal office in Norway. That's a, a vital, crucial partnership to this project. We see uh, the, the UNEP expertise coming, being brought on board to work with Interpol to provide us with that on-the-ground understanding of forest issues and forest law enforcement issues that can support Interpol in its interactions with, with the police and with law enforcement agencies on the ground. We see that this is ultimately about building partnerships. There is expertise globally on forest law enforcement issues and together we have to collaborate so that we get more bang for our buck. Our impact is, is improved. We are building on existing networks that other uh, partners who are already working in the field of forest law enforcement are working with and through the Interpol networks so that together we can, we can use the strength that Interpol brings to the battle with the expertise and the knowledge that other partners bring to us.